All right, guys, what an absolute beauty of a day. It's gotta be 20, it's gotta be 22 degrees in November. It's pretty impressive. And there's no better way to start the day than a good old fashioned uh, unboxing. Let's check it out. Got a little present for the Renegade. Now I've had some issues with the bulbs blowing on the back of this machine regularly. I tried to seal them up, they take on water. They're just cheap bulbs, not a big deal, but we're gonna try something a little different. I've got the sled turned around, cleaned up. Next time Army picked up a sled, so we're gonna go check that out. get a sled so we can get out there and go for a rip. XM Army's new residence. Okay. Little liquor store. <laughs> home. Let me get that for you. Thanks, man. Hey. How's Good, you? Good. Right on. So, check out your new sled? Yeah, that's Alright, man. Well, you have a good day, little dude. Yep. Alright. I got a new spring in the secondary clutch, or in the primary clutch. Oh, yeah? It's more snotty. It does, man. Like, the RPMs are up. It's cool. feels good. RPMs are higher, bud. I'll see you over at the house.
day to go for a rip, dude. I know, I know. Fuck. The next few days are nice, right? It is. What are you doing tomorrow? Nothing. We should go for a rip. Yeah, I'm off till Tuesday. Let's go check out your sled. We should go for a rip. We should, yeah. Man, this thing's working good. It's working good. Seems to be, man. Big difference. It's a little more, a little more grabby. I like it. I'm digging it. Is that yours too? That's hers, yeah. I gotta keep the helmet on for a second so we can take a look at her. That looks pretty sick, eh? Yeah, I'm excited to try it. I bet. <laughs> Fucking brother, the old man wouldn't start. This thing? Yeah. Right on, there's the old friggin' skidoo. That's the one you wanted years ago. That is the one I wanted, yeah. Yeah, it looks sweet. Let's have a beverage. Yeah, let's have a pint. Hey? Okay. Let's have a pint. There's the new Can Ami body traded in the XMR. <laughs> yeah, he's got the, uh, 1100 big bore kit. He's got the STM QSC clutches on the on the left side here. Yeah, STM sprocket. Yeah, we got a mud and wheels rear dif differential <laughs> right in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> He's hanging out. Yeah. MPP pipe. He's got the torque locker in the front. He's got the MPP uh, afterburner. <laughs> He's got the cannon Oz on there yeah. already. <laughs> it's a dry <laughs> shot. Yeah, it's obviously got like a two two to four inch handlebar riser on it. Yeah. Some tied up paracords. Tied up paracords there, yeah. <laughs> Holding the seat down. Yep. <laughs> she looks good, bud. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a rip. Yeah. Army's going to take the old Nas, Nas ATV's <laughs> bike for a rip. Hold my beer, he said. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the handlebar. Yeah, yeah not bad, eh? Don't wreck it. He's repping. How's it feel? Good. Feels Look, good. I drifted there and she was just like eh. She dressed good, man. Oh, looks cool, man. Yeah. Can't wait, man. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Oh, that definitely is that oil? I think so. Fuck off, Rick! <laughs> He's fucking quick, man. What are you doing here? And who are you? Oh, yeah, you broke off your leash, bud. Oh, Don't piss on my you fucking bastard! Get off of there! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Look at that! Oh yeah. Let's yeah, see if I can get a picture too. <laughs>
it's running good. Liking it. We found a dog. It wasn't as big as this old feller. This old feller would have tore him apart. Hey bud, hey Tobes. Flip it over. Get it ready to go. We have some parts that we want to get for that machine. Let's see what we can get our hands on here. Soon. What do we have in the box? Right on. I don't know, it seems a little heavier than just tail lights. I don't know for sure. Oh, look at all the goodies in here, boys. We got some hats for the boys. Look at that. Good day, dude. Got you something. Slam that on there, see if she fits you. Take a look at that, why don't you? No, it's, I mean, maybe not. It's filthy. All right, let's do the other one. Coming on uptown here. I'll do it right. Hold on, bud. That time of the season, boy, is going to be so. On these filthy Outlanders, we got a couple RJWC shifters. Looking good, bud. Say goodnight. Goodnight. That's sweet. Check that out. Nice. That's too cool. Oh, that's a sweet little package. We got gas caps. Here's the old stalker gas cap that I've been meaning to replace. Pretty much fact. That's cool, bud. Sealed. Oh, look at that. Some synthetic rope for the boys, too. Oh, man. High flow foam air filter. Jeez, they just, they're just just the full package. Oh, she's crazy, bud. Oh, I need one of these. I think. I was looking for tail lights, but this here looks like another set of old RJWC neutrino headlights, man. Dude, wonder if you slam these on the old Outlander. And to show my neutrinos we got on there, we did a little film over it and threw some far mudding lights over top of them. Now, there's the neutrino already. Isn't it? <laughs> Hello, bud. Look at it. Look at this synthetic rope. Yeah, likes bud. That looks cool. So when you install them, you just uh, let them hang right there and light That's them up. That's all. And when you go fast enough, they yeah, and they, they light up in the back and they light up. Yeah. That's pretty that's, cool. That's pretty sweet. It's gonna look something like that. Now, if I were to hit the brake, <laughs> only one, but that's cool. That's what you want. The middle lights up, right? Oh, that's dope, bud. So we're gonna install the RJWC neutrino taillights in the machine. Looks pretty straightforward. And helping me today, Tobes. Tobes. Tobers. Sit. Give me your paw. That's a good boy. There it is. Simple as that. Twist and remove. Now on this one, so you gotta cut out that reflector plastic mold so you can fit the other bracket in. Now if you wanted to not do that, put it right in behind there so it's hidden. It's gonna sit in there pretty, pretty, pretty. Cool. Simple. Snap it into place. It doesn't get any easier than that. Put a little dielectric grease in there, why wouldn't you? Cool. Got a 
car mudding halos on there as well. I just put them over top of the neutrinos, which is cool. You got your, right, there you go. And they are crazy bright. <laughs>